Well, hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd do a, an unboxing and also show you uh, what a, a finger palette uh, is, uh, if you were wondering uh, what that actually is on my, my store. Um, it comes like this, uh, it's, in its own, uh, it's in its own box. Um, it actually comes in three, uh, three parts. Um, the, the main part itself uh, is the actual finger palette. Uh, this is all, uh, all metal and it has an adjustable ring uh, on the back. Um, that's basically so it fits uh, your, your fingers or your thumbs uh, you know, perfectly. Um, the, the other section is um, magnetic and fits on the, the top of the, uh, the finger palette itself. Um, that just clips on onto the top, or indeed, if you if you like it, uh, it also clips on uh, on the bottom, or or even the the side if, uh, if if that's where you want to to sight it. But personally, um, I like it. Uh, I like it at the top to give me a, as much uh, uh, air at the at the bottom as possible for uh, for my uh, for my paint. Um, that's not the actual surface which uh, you uh, put the paint onto. Uh, the other part of the finger palette are these removable films. Um, basically, they are uh, self adhesive. Um, and they fit onto the, the finger palette uh, like, like that um, and then you adjust wherever you want your, your palette uh, and it goes onto, onto your, your thumb or your finger. Um, I use these uh, uh, a great deal particularly because I do a lot of, of figure painting um, and they're ideal because uh, obviously I spend a lot of time holding one of these. So when I'm holding that with my with my finger um, attached, um, I also have my finger palette um, here, just like that. Now, the reason for that is because you can bring your painting um, just closer to the figure. Um, I, I still have my wet palette uh, you know, near me, um, and that's fine for all of the main uh, colours and shades. But what I tend to do is bring um, the, the shades I'm working on at the moment uh, say if I'm uh, working on a face, for instance, and I'm going to need lots of different tonal uh, shades uh, to, uh, to 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 complete the face. What I'll do is um, put the actual tone on onto the finger palette itself, and then maybe use uh, one of these uh, two areas um, for the additional tones. Um, if I need to go lighter or darker, or what's quite useful is to have one of these with the the base color, which which you've chosen for uh, for for the face. So if you do make a mistake, it's easy to correct. These other areas I tend to use for, for those really subtle changes in, in shade um, or hue or if you need to make some very small adjustments and you don't want to uh, obviously uh, uh, contaminate any of the main shades. I find these are ideal for that. So I have a, uh, a few different shades, uh, shades in there. Now, of course, figure painters will uh, obviously uh, understand that's quite, quite useful, but also because I make uh, lots of scale models as well. Um, and these are very useful as well. So if I'm actually um, building a scale model, uh, for instance, so if I have a, a sprue or if I've actually constructed uh, anything, um, I, I'd still use the finger palette to make small adjustments. For instance, if I was working on panel lines, for instance, or if um, I wanted to, uh, to do any kind of weathering, that, uh, that, those kinds of things um, are ideal for, uh, for finger pipes because you can be very close to, to your model without having to keep reaching back to, to, your, uh, to your wet, uh, wet palette. Now the finger palettes also um, come with uh, replaceable uh, films, as I mentioned. Uh, you get three in the box, um, but also there is a, a replacement um, a refill pack available. Um, there's 32 in these uh, in these packs. They come in their own uh, Ziploc uh, bag to keep them clean. Um, because that's what I tend to do. I tend to um, use my um, finger palettes um, as it is. Um, uh, wash it because it's you know you, you can uh, you can wash the these uh, these films quite uh, quite easily. Um, but then when they get a little bit too dirty, it's quite easy to uh, to, you know, to take to rip one off and uh, replace it with uh, with a new one. So it's it's something new which I hadn't seen before, and I uh, I wanted to sort of explore if if that uh, really could enhance um, you know, my uh, my further modelling and my my finger paint uh, my figure painting in particular, and um, it does it, it's great it's it's being able to to I guess bring the bring the paint or bring the brush closer to the model and to have a an area where I can really focus on getting those shades right and those tonal differences right and these kind of things I think are are, are ideal for that. So um, have, a, have a look at the store. Uh, there's a bit more information on, um, on the, the actual um, items page uh, it's, uh, itself. And if you've got any queries, any questions, uh, you can reach me via the website uh, you know, or drop me, uh, drop me an email. So until next time, uh, see you soon.